All right, folks, we're here in Bluffton, South Carolina. We're out for our tour of the area, and uh, we're in a parking lot. And do you think we can find a parking station that works? Do you have a pen? I'm going to put a note on the dash thing okay. saying that uh, we tried to pay. And uh, I don't know, can you pay online? Let's have a look. We're going to see if you can pay online. Is there a number to call or anything? No? All right, so we found a solution. We're here now. We found a park on the street and we're parked and we paid the dollar fifty for three hours of uh, parking. And uh, now Missy and I are gonna go tour uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. Did I say Bluffton earlier? So we're here in Bluffton, South Carolina. Bluffton, South Carolina. Bluffton. Or did I say Beaufort? Beaufort or Beaufort? I think it's Beaufort, but uh, I did, did I say Bluffton earlier in the video? I, I, I might have, because I'm so used to going to Bluffton. Anyway, we're in Beaufort. Well, we were in Bluffton. We were. Now we're in Beaufort, South Carolina, and we're going to go and check out uh, the historic Why district. Is Beaufort? Isn't it B-E-U? Beaufort, they say on the, okay, so the Siri on the car said Beaufort. Yeah, but she always says things wrong. Well, who knows? If you know how to pronounce this place, leave a comment. In the, it's, is it Beaufort or Beaufort or something else? It's B E A U, so... So if you if you take French, yeah, that is Beau. But if you say beautiful, which is the same beginning, it, there you go. So what is it? Is it Beaufort? Bu is it Beaufort or is it Beaufort? Beaufort. Anyway, we'll uh, leave a comment below in the sun. We're gonna go and check out this beautiful city. Uh, according to Nick Johnson on his YouTube channel, for this episode, I headed to Beaufort, South Carolina. Population thirteen thousand four hundred four. It's always been called one of the best places to live in South Carolina. One of the highly sought off parts of the Southeast. I didn't know that, but it is beautiful here. It is. We're gonna go check it out. Come along for the journey with us. Beaufort, South Carolina is located on Port Royal Island, one of the largest sea islands along the Southeast Atlantic coast of the United States. It is only one of a handful of US towns that has had its entire downtown designated a historic district by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. Watch out, Buffer! Three dogs in an RV is in your town. <laughs> mayhem is about to unleash. Do we really do mayhem? No. No. Buford is the second oldest city in South Carolina behind Charleston. The city's population is about 12,361 in the 2010 census and is the primary city in the Hilton Head, Bluffton, Buford, South Carolina metropolitan statistical area. Buford has been featured in New York Times and named Best Small Southern Town by Southern Living and Top 25 Small City Arts Destination by American Style and Top 50 Adventure Town by National Geographic Adventure. To stay on top of all the happenings in Buford, go to BufordSC.org. You look good. You look Southern there, honey. <laughs> These are uh, Canadian, I do believe, Tilly hats. The origins are in Canada. I think the uh, goes back to one of the Gulf Wars. The Canadian military wore these as their uh, field headdress when they were in one of the Gulf Wars. And that's where Tilly hats kind of took off. Let us see. I'll put it on so I can see. Well, just, wrap, just wrap it around you. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, especially the hat. You'll become a Southern Belle, Missy. Now you just have to talk like that. Go y'all. 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 Y'all, y'all. Okay, Missy, so the argument has been settled. Yes. It is Buford, the lady. Da -da -da -da, Missy was right. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yes, Missy was right. <laughs> I interrupt the story to tell you that Missy was right. Uh, for and, once, uh, it does happen. It, it does happen, I said, it does happen occasionally that you are right. Mm -hmm. So it is Buford, South Carolina, not Beaufort. But wait, what did you say? I said Missy is right. Yeah. I'm not, I, I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> Yeah, you're I right. just like hearing it. You're right from time to time yeah. on some things, yeah. yeah. And I'm uh, I'm not I'm not mad enough to say I was wrong, but it, I'm not wrong. I just didn't know the car. I didn't know. But you were right in your you were right in your estimate. Yes. The John Mark Verdier House, also known as the Lafayette Building, was built in 1804. The house was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1971. Several months after hostilities began in the U.S. Civil War. Beaufort was occupied by Union forces following the Battle of Port Royal. Due to its early occupation, the city attracted many escaping slaves. Beaufort was founded in 1711 and has maintained an antebellum architecture and small town atmosphere. Famous movies have been filmed 
there, including Forrest Gump, The Prince of Tides, and The Big Chill. Beaufort is home to about 25% of the marshlands on the entire east coast of the United States. Okay, let's go in here, Missy. All right, so now we're at the Scout Southern Market here in Beaufort, and uh, this is the home, they say the home of the original sweet tea float. I'm interested to see what that is. Whenever they say the word original in Portland, I always want to check it out. Two scoops of fruit, sherbet, top of the sweet tea. Where's that? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. We should go try one out. We're gonna go try one out. The Sweet Tea Bar is a Beaufort original. They serve simple Southern delights with great conversation. Whether it's a pecan bar or their signature sweet tea float, a true taste of the South awaits you. All right, we're gonna get one of these sweet tea floats and see uh, how good they are. Southern Market here in uh, Beaufort. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, the straw turned blue. Oh, why? What color was it? Wait. Oh. Can't do that with a paper straw. Mm, very, very good. Want to try some? Is it really sweet? No. Look at her face. It's sweet. She's like sweet, yes. So that uh, sweet tea float was exceptional. So if you're on uh, Bay Street in Beaufort, make sure you stop by Southern Market and get one of yourself. One of those uh, iced tea, sweet tea floats. It was yummy, yummy, yummy to my belly. Magnet hunt now. Looks like Missy found the magnet. Hey, Missy, this is perfect for you. Yeah, it is. My favorite people are Chihuahuas. Yes, sir. So Missy's in there getting a t-shirt and a fridge magnet. I thought I'd take a walk down to the uh, waterfront here in Beaufort and just uh, see all the nice uh, yachts and uh, check out the river and uh, get some shots of uh, the water from here. It looks uh, pretty uh, pretty nice. Beaufort's uh, a nice um, nice neighbor, a nice town, nice city. Uh, and I was watching Nick Johnson's YouTube channel and he did say that uh, Beaufort was like one of the best cities in the Southeast. And I could see why. It's a uh, pretty uh, sharp, city nice uh, nice uh, layout and not uh, not dirty at all at all it's not no no dirty doesn't appear to be you know run down a lot of the history has been preserved so yeah I give uh, if I was looking for a place in the southeast to move Beaufort would be one of my choices now coming uh, coming here and checking it out
So yeah, definitely worth uh, coming here to Beaufort and checking it out if you're at Hilton Head or Savannah or in the area. It is a nice picturesque community. Definitely uh, one of the top places that Missy and I have visited in the last little while. So uh, definitely worth uh, taking a trip here and uh, checking it out. Definitely thumbs up. Way to go Beaufort, good job. You know how much I love this woman. Why do I love you so much? I don't know. Because you found a cigar shop. Oh, there you go. And I smell cigar. So let's and go. it's a coffee place. Even better, let's go check it out. Okay, so the cigar smells I smelt were false, obviously, or somebody just walked by because this place is not a cigar shop. It is a cider. There's a very different letter, G and D in there. I know. So, but good, uh, good effort, Missy. Sorry about that. I'll give you an A for effort. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, no cigars here today. Cider, no cigars. So I don't know if it's the uh, the July heat here in the south. Oh yeah, we totally messed up. That wasn't a cigar shop, that was a cider shop. And I didn't say one, I said there's two letters that are totally uh, not uh, the same. Yes. So cigar is C-I-G-A-R, <laughs> cider C-I-D-E-R. Yeah, we totally screwed that one up. Duh. I don't know where I got that cigar smell from, but I did smell a cigar, but there was no cigars to be had. All right, we're gonna carry on walking around uh, Beaufort here. All right, one more stop before we head back to the RV and uh, lo and behold, we're at a cigar place. Now we're actually at a cigar place, not a cider place this time. So we're gonna go check out this uh, cigar place. I saw, I found this place on, uh, on Nick Johnson's video as he was touring around here. So I said, let's go check it out. cigar here and uh, we're sitting here at the cigar lounge in Beaufort, South Carolina just chilling relaxing and uh, just uh, watching it's it's hot 90 something degrees and the humidity is about 70 some on percent it's uh, pretty warm and we're just gonna sit here and relax 